We're Mike and Gail Tucker, and we're mad about marriage. Studies show that successful couples make love more frequently. So my question is, does that mean then that the answer to all marriage problems is simply to have sex more often? Well, I know this is disappointing to you, but no, that's not the oh, answer. Man. <laughs> Actually, what we find is that successful couples tend to have a good marriage and that the frequent sex is an outcome of the good marriage. So it's they a have benefit. have a lot of connection. It's a yeah. benefit of having the connection, but not necessarily the cure for the marital woes, That's right? right. Okay. You know, when we're close to one another, when we have a kind tone toward mm -hmm. one another in our communication. Good intent towards the relationship. I hold good intent towards you and, and I'm committed to this relationship. When we have fun together. We're active, we do things, we, we feel connected in that mm -hmm. way. That makes a big difference. We have shared goals, shared values. We're working towards a common good together. Uh, we, we have frequent touch in the relationship, mm -hmm. which means sensual touch, not sexual touch. When those things exist, then... Well, it creates an openness toward intimacy. Mm -hmm. So if I feel close to you in other ways, then I am open to be intimate with you in our sex life. So really, having sex is not the cure for marital woes, no. but it is a benefit of having fixed the marriage. So our encouragement to you is work on the relationship issues. The sex will come later.